Welcome to our channel, where we dive into the world of crime and uncover the truth behind some of the most notorious financial criminal scams in history. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the top 10 biggest Ponzi schemes of all time. These schemes have caused billions of dollars in damages and have left many people financially ruined. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Now, let's get started. Madoff's Ponzi scheme is considered to be one of the largest financial scams in history. He convinced investors to put their money into his investment firm, promising high returns. However, in reality, Madoff was using the money from new investors to pay off old investors. He was finally caught in 2008 and was sentenced to 150 years in prison. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $65 billion. The scheme affected thousands of individuals, charities, and institutional investors. Madoff's scam was a classic Ponzi scheme and was uncovered during the late stages of the 2008 financial crisis. In 2009, Alan Stanford was charged with multiple counts of fraud, including running a Ponzi scheme. He convinced investors to invest in certificates of deposit CDs at his bank in Antigua, promising high returns. However, these CDs were not insured and Stanford was using the money to fund his own lifestyle. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $7 billion. The scheme affected around 30,000 investors from 113 countries. Stanford's trial lasted for years, and he was finally sentenced to 110 years in prison in 2012. Charles Ponzi is considered to be the father of the Ponzi scheme. In 1920, he convinced thousands of people to invest in a scheme where he promised to double their money in 90 days. However, Ponzi was not actually investing the money, but rather using it to pay off earlier investors. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $20 million. Charles Ponzi's scheme was one of the first and most infamous Ponzi schemes in history. His name became synonymous with this type of fraud, and many Ponzi schemes that followed have been referred to as Ponzi schemes. Scott Rothstein was a lawyer in Florida who was running a Ponzi scheme through his law firm. He convinced investors to invest in a scheme where they would get a share of the proceeds from legal settlements. However, these settlements did not exist and Rothstein was using the money to fund his own lifestyle. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $1.4 billion. Rothstein's scheme was particularly shocking as it involved a lawyer and a law firm, which are supposed to be trusted figures in the legal system. He was sentenced to 50 years in prison in 2010. Tom Petters was running a Ponzi scheme through his investment company, Petters Group Worldwide. He convinced investors to invest in a scheme where he promised to purchase and resell consumer electronics. However, the electronics were never purchased and Petters was using the money to pay off earlier investors. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $3.65 billion. Petters' scheme was particularly large, involving several companies and thousands of investors. He was sentenced to 50 years in prison in 2010. Robert Allen Stanford was a Texas billionaire who was running a Ponzi scheme through his investment company. Stanford Financial Group. He convinced investors to invest in certificates of deposit, CDs, that promised high returns but were not insured. He used the money from these investments to fund his own luxurious lifestyle and pay off earlier investors. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $7 billion. Stanford's scheme affected around 30,000 investors from 113 countries and was one of the largest Ponzi schemes uncovered in the early 2000s. He was sentenced to 110 years in prison in 2012. Sergei Mavrodi was a Russian businessman who created the MMM Ponzi scheme in the 1990s. He convinced people to invest in his company, promising high returns, but was using the money from new investors to pay off earlier investors. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is in the tens of billions of dollars. The MMM Ponzi scheme affected millions of people in Russia and other countries, and Mavrodi became a household name in Russia as a result of his scheme. He was eventually arrested and served time in prison. 
Carlos Hank Ron was a Mexican businessman who was running a Ponzi scheme through his investment company, Grupo Financiero Interactions. He convinced investors to invest in a scheme that promised high returns, but was using the money from new investors to pay off earlier investors. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $350 million. Hank Run's scheme affected thousands of people in Mexico and was one of the largest Ponzi schemes uncovered in Mexico in the early 2000s. Lou Pearlman was an American businessman and music producer who was running a Ponzi scheme through his investment company, Transcontinental. He convinced investors to invest in a scheme that promised high returns, but was using the money from new investors to pay off earlier investors. The estimated amount lost in this scheme is around $300 million. Perlman's scheme affected thousands of people and was one of the largest Ponzi schemes uncovered in the United States in the early 2000s. These are just a few examples of the many Ponzi schemes that have caused financial ruin for thousands of people. It's important to always do your own research and be cautious of any investment opportunity that seems too good to be true. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Stay informed. Stay safe.